is uh, we got some updates on AEW Fight Forever. We got a new trailer that dropped. And uh, if you if you check social media, there's it's like it's like politics, man. Split right down the middle. You got red and blue. There are people who are so fucking absolutely hyped for this game, and then there are people who who just calling it a PlayStation Two game, saying it's gonna suck, saying the graphics are terrible. Look, man, at this point, the graphics are what the graphics are, and you're gonna have to live with what the graphics are. And I think the graphics are a little bit intentional. I think it's a, there's an overreaction to this idea that this game looks bad. I think that like there is a little bit of nostalgia involved in this game. This is No Mercy. This is WCW Revenge. That's I mean they and they haven't really they haven't really skirted around the idea that that's what that is. <clears throat> and it gives all the vibes, like it gives all the feels of a Nintendo sixty four wrestling game, just polished up a little bit more. I'm on board, but if that's not what you're looking for, this game's not going to be for you. If you if you didn't enjoy uh, WrestleMania 2000 or whatever, 2000 or 2001, if you didn't enjoy WWF No Mercy, if you didn't enjoy WCW NWO Revenge, definitely this is probably not for you, right? Now, it bothers me a little bit we didn't get a release date, but I think that somebody within, within THQ and, or somebody within AEW said, we've got to clean it up. We got to clean it up. We can't. We can't let this shit come out to a disaster. Because you see, they came out and they fixed the cover. They got rid of CM Punk, new cover. It's got MJF on it. It's got, who else is that on there? It's got Jay Cargill, Sting, Orange Cassidy, Brian Danielson, Jericho, MJF, Moxley, Adam Page, Kenny Omega, and Britt Baker. It's got the, it's got the ones you need, right? They fixed that problem. You solved that problem. Now, if, they, if they're doing any tweaking to the roster, more power to them, right? Smart move. Take your time. We don't we don't want like a, a cyberpunk fiasco with this game. We want a game that comes out that's that's well done and, and it's ready to go. But like from looking at looking at like the, I have a screenshot. Uh, it's right here. I have a screenshot right here. That blood stuff looks cool. Like the thumbtacks on the on, on the mat look cool. That's stuff you don't get in WWE games and it's going to be different. I'm imagining that this game is going to be more geared towards like friends playing games with friends. This isn't like they've never intended this to be a simulation. Now they're trying to sell it with like a deep career mode, but that can be fun. Even with a game like this, we'll see how like the creation suite will, will make a big difference because if you can kind of get, you can get in there and get detailed and you can create WWE wrestlers and, and kind of do that fantasy wrestling type stuff. It could get interesting. This could be kind of a cult classic fun game, which in AEW fashion seems like exactly what the IWC are, are looking for. And I'm all about it, right? I loved No Mercy, one of my favorite wrestling games of all time. So I have no problem with that. I did notice in the trailer uh, the intergender matches. Intergender. Inter, intergender matches were interesting. There was a couple clips of Brian Danielson and uh, Britt Baker fighting against each other that looked really interesting. Looked like They looked fun. And a fun little fact, like last thing, fun little fact about the game is Sting and Chris Jericho are the only two wrestlers who are returning from the Revenge No Mercy game engine. Like it's those guys have been doing the pro wrestling thing that long that they were in those games. I believe Jericho might have been in, I, I believe he was in at least one of the WWF ones. And I know he was in uh, WCW NWO Revenge or one of the two uh, WCW ones, but that's crazy. <clears throat> that's crazy. He's been doing it this long. That's insane. Uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit. We're going to talk about what happens on Monday Night Raw. Should be interesting. I'm still not like I'm. I'm a little bit hurt by Monday Night Raw right now. You guys, you guys all seem to be sold and don't seem to be panicking, but I'm a little bit panicked. I need to see something. We're, this is go home time. This is go home time for Monday Night Raw. So, like, I, I'm going to need to see. We don't. We still don't have a full card put together, which bothers me. We've got two. Not bad, but but we've got two kind of thrown together War Games matches that we're supposed to be excited for. After Friday, I'm sold on the men's. Going to need a little bit of a, a better explanation on why I should pay attention to the women's, which I hopefully we get on Monday. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit more, more reason to pay attention to, uh, AJ Styles and Finn Balor just because not because it's a great match, but just because like, I don't understand the non-involvement of the OC and the judgment day. Like, why is that at least not a three on three tag match? 
What that doesn't none of that makes sense. They got to somehow get something involved, and then other than that, like they've got to fill out that card in an interesting way. So it'll be fun. I'll watch Monday Night Raw tonight, and then uh, we we can talk more about that tomorrow. But that is all the time that I have today for the Casual Wrestling Podcast. Uh, we will pick up where we left off tomorrow. Make sure to tune in Monday through Friday for more amazing WWE and AEW wrestling podcast content. As always. I am the Notorious Nerdy D, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Step in the ring, if you ready, let's go. Hey, hey. Casual wrestling community show, you already know. Talking WWE, keep it rolling and hosted by Notorious Nerdy D. Hey. Don't for sure that you gon' find, tune in cause it's online. Hit him with a figure four leg, like pie driver, a clothesline. We bringing that heat like the show, but you